Hi everyone, Edward here and today we're going to be reviewing accessibility features for iOS 18. Now iOS 18 is out as the RC version or release candidate. I've updated my device a few days ago, but it will be officially out to everybody this Monday coming. So everybody else have not too long to wait for the official release. However, if you do want to update to DRC, you just log in to beta.apple.com with your Apple ID, sign in and choose the software you want to test out. But I've updated my, myself a few days ago because I was really desperate to test out the new features. So we're going to be focusing on this video on voiceover features and accessibility specifically. However, I will include some mainstream as well like the control center. So let's just go ahead and go into settings here. Firstly, we're going to be covering voiceover. Settings. Set it. Set general. Accessibility. Button. Accessibility. Heading. Now, and the first new thing to notice, your phone actually explains what accessibility features are. So when you go in there it says accessibility features help you customize your iphone that works best for vision hearing mobility etc so i'm just gonna let her tell you personalize iphone in ways that work best for you with accessibility features for vision mobility hearing speech and cognition learn more link use so, the rotor to access if you want to learn more you can double tap on it and it will actually give you the whole history <laughs> how this feature actually works but we're not going to do that in this video vision heading so let's go into our all friendly voiceover feature voiceover on Bu voiceover switch button on so we have our switch double tap to new. toggle voiceover speaks items on the tap what's new in voiceover link and double tap to activate link this is actually something new so if we double tap this done button voiceover heading what's new live recognition detect text people doors furniture and more by you now this is actually what had very surprised me i thought this wouldn't be available on my iphone because the door detection i know is only available for the pro versions and i only have the regular 15 i don't have the pro but i don't have the door detection but i do have uh text recognition and point to speak which is actually really again really surprising i thought i wouldn't get that voiceover voice rotor the voiceover language rotor has become the voice rotor select it so if you guys remember uh we used to have like voiceover language but it actually it's actually now changed to voiceover voice so instead of adding a language you can actually add a voice which is actually quite cool audio ducking in voiceover greater than audio settings choose where the ducking is off only active when speaking or always active so you can control audio docking um say if you're listening to media you can choose it for always dock active or non-active i mean it was kind of available we we always had the audio docking but it's actually updated voice customization EQ settings can be adjusted per voice. Siri voices have selectable speaking styles. Now wait, this was actually something we had on Android. If you had, if you were, if you were using TalkBack before, you were actually able to customize every voice separately. But this is now how it came to iOS. Voiceover tutorial. Learn how to use voiceover in a new tutorial that explains how to use Again, something we had on Android for TalkBack. Startup haptic. Voiceover uses a haptic to indicate it has started. It can be turned off in voiceover greater than audio greater than sounds and haptic settings. Again, something we had on Android. Delay before selection. Control the amount of time before voiceover will select. Uh, delay before selection. So... I will explain this. Um, so basically, if you accidentally touch the screen, voiceover will not. Voiceover will by default respond to your touch, 
but you can however delay this so if you didn't mean to touch the screen voiceover will, will not respond to your slight touch so you can actually make the screen as sensitive as you wish now which is actually great new language support voiceover now supports lithuanian and kazakh that is something what really had surprised me i didn't i didn't think that voiceover actually does support now my native language and i actually did already try that and it actually does sound awesome but anyway this is what's kind of new again once you update to ios 18 you can have an exploration yourself voiceover heading done button Back i will button. also show you voiceover voice tap dub what vo voiceover tutorial voiceover tutorial button a new voiceover tutorial briefly Sele collections page voiceover tutorial done but collections page learn how to use voiceover in this tutorial collections continue from where learn introductory voiceover interaction gestures button select the next item voiceover automatically reads aloud the selected on-screen item like text or a button you can control which item is selected by moving the selection. To select the next on-screen item, swipe from left to right with one finger. Swipe one finger from left to right now to move to the next page. Okay, let's do that. Continue. Button. Select the previous item. You just practiced the gesture to select the next item. To select the previous on-screen item, swipe from right to left with one finger. Swipe one finger from right. Select the previous. Activate an item. Some items can be activated, which performs their default action. This is similar to clicking the mouse on the item, or pressing a button to submit a form. To activate the selected item, tap the screen twice with one finger. Double tap with one finger to move to the next page. Double tap with one. Practice navigating. Now you'll practice the commands you just learned by again once you update to ios 18 you can actually have a play around this yourself and collections Exit button out of that. activate screen recording active collection voiceover tutorial done button Set voiceover heading so this is these are the main things that are new with voiceover but they are so incredible i didn't think that they actually really will improve this they will actually really improve voiceover now um and again for those of you that speak lithuanian if you have updated to ios 18 and you if you are a voiceover user well you actually don't have to be a voiceover user it's actually available in the language settings so if you go into settings general language and region and the new lithuanian language is actually there i didn't think they will actually add that but there you go we actually have it so let's just go into the rest of the accessibility feature is real quick. Back button. Back button. Voiceover. Zoom. Dis motion. Spoke. Audio. Di physical. Touch. Button. Physical. Touch. Face. Switch control. Off. So we button. have all these features we had before. Switch control. Physical and motor. Voice control. Voice off. control. B eye tracking. Off. Button. Here is actually something new. Eye tracking. Eye tracking. Switch button. Off. Eye tracking allows you to control your device using just your eyes. iPhone should be on a stable surface about 30 centimeters away from your face. So this is actually something great. And it's actually... This had got interest for... Everybody, not just accessibility users. Many people had actually tried this out. So you basically just control your phone using your eyes. You don't actually have to use your hands now. I did test that out, but it is actually difficult for me because my eyes don't really work as they're supposed to be. But anyways, we're not going to go into that. Um, but it does work, but it would be kind of, it was difficult for me to test it out, but I did try it. Eye tracking off side button button. So this is pretty much everything with accessibility bunch of packed fee bunch of new packed features and bunch of new voiceover features so again once you update to ios 18 have an exploration yourself and yeah i'm pretty sure you will enjoy it and let's just go over mainstream features real quick now 
Edvardis Novaka, General, Button. So we have our General, as before. Accessibility, Camera, Button, Control Center, Button. There is our Control Center. So here we have... Selected. Allow access to Control Center within apps. Allow, allow, swap, customize, Control Center, customize Control Center. Now, I know before, we, um, when iOS 11 was released, we were actually able to customize Control Center. But now we can actually customize it even more, which is awesome. We can actually have Control Center pages now and have as many toggles as we wish. Because before, we were limited per one page, but now... We actually have multiple pages to switch between. I actually haven't played with this, but it sounds amazing. Control center, display and bright, home screen and up, search, Siri, but wallpaper, button, notification, sounds and haptics, focus, screen, face ID, emergency, privacy and security, app store, button. Now, here is actually something new I wanted to show. So. If you want, before, if you wanted to get to your phone settings, you scroll down, 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 and then until when you hear voiceover saying phone, you then double tap on it. However, that's not the case anymore. So if you want to get to your phone settings, you scroll down. Games, iCloud, wallet, apps, apps, button. Until you get to this button that says apps. So here you double tap. Selected, blind drive, button. And there are all of your standard apps you have on the on your phone so your games whatever when you have so if you want to access your phone settings page, you scroll page down three, google home button page phone button and double tap on your phone settings so this is how you access your phone settings now a new brand way so this is pretty much ios 18. i hope you've enjoyed and leave a comment down below Leave a comment down below as well if you really do feel like updating the DRC. I would actually highly recommend. It's pretty stable. I haven't had any bugs since I've updated. I've updated it last Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, or was it Monday? I actually can't remember now, but um, the RC version is pretty stable. I actually still have the beta updates turned on in case RC2 gets released. Uh, which I actually highly doubt by now because uh, we are getting close to Monday. But uh, again, if you want to update to DRC, it it is a it is still a beta update. So you go to beta.opal.com and choose your software you want to test out, enroll your device, and update the software. So this is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Control selected. Screen recording.